Oh hello guys, today I have a really short video, it's gonna be more of a tip if you like, if you are using KD Plasma and you don't like the default wallpaper and you don't really want to go and hunt for a new one and if you are like me changing your wallpapers, well, often, <laughs> so I'll give you a little tip a couple of plugins that you can use that's gonna do all the job for you most of you may know that maybe you've been using it before I don't know but I'm gonna show you anyway so let's get to it okay this is pretty easy I'm not gonna waste too much of your time so what you do just right click on your desktop go to configure desktop and wallpaper and here you can see get new plugins just push it wait for the loading to finish and I have two favorites of mine that I mainly use most of the time and this is the wall haven paper wallpaper and the other one is the reddit one just click it it installs pretty quickly as you can see close it and now you can select either of them let's go with low haven first now just make it a little bigger uh, you can use a different one if you like it's take a while to load but let's say you don't like the mountain or landscape just go for the dark art let's say reload well not from the first time i guess so you can just configure it the way you want you can sort it by the date or the top or the views i like the views you can refresh interval minutes 60 well you can do it like 20 it doesn't really matter this is personal for you and this is the first one the second one it's pretty similar reddit wallpaper well I like the wallpapers one same thing if you want landscape if you want portrait you can just choose whatever you want to choose just well this one is pretty good actually I really like that one so I'm gonna keep it for now if it's not lost come on don't be like that it's even give you where the original wallpaper comes from if you want you can just go there and download it which is amazing I really like that okay so that's all for today i hope you like this little tip for kde and let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next one bye